All right, so welcome back to another episode of Blast Off. Um, last time we spent some time working on uh, some of the press, uh, pneumatic craft stuff, and we turned in a bunch of quests. Uh, this episode, um, we did make our builders one ep- last episode as well. Um, this episode, I decided to go ahead. I think we'll get to work on this room and pretty up a bit uh, because I want to get started on collecting lava. So then we can um, get some power going. Because we do have that, I believe it's over in the pressurization room, the lava generator, which we got from, was it? Was it? From Geothermal Quest, I believe. Yeah. And we picked the lava generator. Um, Because we're going to need to start getting a little bit of power going. Uh, I don't know what these are. But might be worth doing that quest, unless they're hard to make. But, yeah, I think we'll spend some time working on this room. So we can get started making some power. Or collecting lava, anyway. Um, Because at the moment, we don't really need power. I think we more so need power for the fish. Which we might look into getting started with. I don't really have any place to put them because I don't know anything about them but I yeah we'll definitely spend some time uh, looking into mariculture more so and check out what you can do with those fish uh, but we'll spend time here working on this room I think we'll work on getting ceiling Ooh, that might be kind of annoying I'll wait on the ceiling. How about that? So we we'll want to get the floor here, which is this. I want to do factory blocks it as the main uh, floor. I'll probably add in some extra stuff because it will be really plain otherwise. I believe this is a different one, so I think we need to use these for the floor. Oh, we already have three of them here. Let's use these up real quick. Encumbered. This builder's one makes things so much simpler. Torches are going to get in my way, though. Well, we'll get rid of them in time, anyway. We don't want it to be dark, though, so got to leave the torches for a while, at least. Um, lighting is going to be kind of difficult, I believe. I don't... I have no idea how I'm going to do it. Oh, no. Um, I'll probably... The ceiling's actually going to be decently low, because, uh... Yeah, what is that? It's going to give us one, two, three, four, five blocks of headroom. Three, four, five... Am I counting wrong? Yeah, six blocks worth of space. So, the lighting... Might go in the ceiling, or a decent amount of it, at least in the the middle area. I don't know. I'll probably do some beams or something across the the top, and I'll um, help keep it. Because otherwise, if I just do that, it's going to look really flat. So the ceiling might be a little bit lower than I thought it would be originally, but shouldn't be shouldn't be anything major. Higher rooms are kind of hard to light properly. Um, but. Yeah, so it probably won't is not a bad thing at all that the floor is kind of low. Uh, where's my chisel? There it is. Got so much building supplies in there. All right, I'll turn all this into these wire frames. And it will initially be pretty pretty plain, I know, but like I said, I'll, I'll uh, we'll add some stuff to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I 
kind of. I'm yeah. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do though. I think I'll go ahead and finish laying this out because you guys don't need to see me continue doing this over and over again because it's gonna take time, especially since I'm encumbered forever to freaking move around and these torches are slowing my progress a bit especially since they're so unevenly spaced but yeah I'll finish this up real quick and then uh get back with you guys with the the walls probably and then ceiling so I will catch you guys here in a minute alright well the floor is done uh, it's kind of dark in here now oh yeah thanks Shouldn't be an issue as long as they don't leave. Um, but yeah, see the ceiling is going to be quite a bit closer. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get started on the walls here. See, I went, I think I'm going to go with, was it? I wanted to go with this. Which is this, right? Yeah. So we'll go with that. And then I want to have these beams here for each of these sections. Because I already kind of laid it out earlier. I believe it's the same type of metal, which is this futuristic. Can't remember what it is. Is it this first one? Oh uh, no, that's light. That's bleak. So bleak, bleak. Right next to it. Okay, so that should be it. So we will work on this. Well, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? I think the best bet would be go like this and just go down from there, I think. Probably be our best option. That all, all the way around. I think lighting wise, I might put stuff in these pillars. See, I kind of did something. I don't know if I showed you guys before, but I have lighting up here to help light these hallways. And then I have them down here. And then a few places I have carpenter's blocks just in a couple of these pillars here. And I have them as the, the carpenter's block itself is one of these uh, lamps. And then I put the stone covers on the the, uh, the sides of them just to help cover it up. Gives it a little extra detail, plus it lights the place up. So I might do something similar with the pillars in here. Uh, see, I don't... I don't know... I definitely don't want the whole floor to be this wireframe, so I'll do something. I don't know what... I might add paths or... Since I'm going to have different areas i'll probably you know have uh kind of like i have over in the other room over here in the the pneumatic craft room where i have kind of this border and then these uh, hazard blocks just kind of sh roughing out this area i might do something similar uh just for to designate areas and that'll help break it up a little bit so i think that's what i'm going to do for that um, I'll probably have some kind of path type thing that goes from, you know, this uh, door, you know, wiggles around a little bit to that door. I might have something a little different uh, flooring wise that kind of designates a path to that the, that door and or down, yeah, I think to that door. Um, that will kind of help break up the flooring a bit. Because if I don't, it's not going to look super great. I mean, it doesn't look too bad right now, to be honest. But, yeah, I don't want it to... Where's... Okay. I don't want it to have all the same type of flooring. Because it just won't look that great. Otherwise, it's hard. Alright, I'm just going to have to create these pillars, it looks like. Without the back wall here is kind of annoying. 
I kind of went with the room being... I felt like it was... Because I wanted it to kind of be even so I could keep the uh, pillars going here. But I didn't want it to get too big because I felt like it was getting too big. So I had to bring the room... I initially had it up to there. Uh, but I felt like that was over the top. I mean, because this is already a huge open room. And it, you know, just doesn't look all that great once you have these big old rooms with the... Uh, you know, not a whole lot of anything. So I was kind of debating whether I should have a room this big. I could have made it a little bigger and just... Because I was thinking about... Um, I could have the room initially and just add some walls or... Dang it. <laughs> I can't place it. And add some, uh, you know, walls to help break the room up a bit. And that could simply just help to make the room smaller when initially I just dug out one big hollow area. So that would be one way to solve that problem. Um, I was going too high with that. I don't know if I'll... I might add slopes or something. One way to do it. I'm not sure exactly. We'll just have to see how things go. Because I haven't... Definitely haven't, like, built the room in creative mode or nothing to see how it look in a, a single player or nothing. I'm just kind of going with the flow and see. Hopefully it turns out decent. Oh well, it doesn't have to be too great. This is more so about survival, not so much uh, about what our base looks like, right? I can't figure out. Yeah, I would only need to put it there, wouldn't I? Because the ceiling is going to be above that. Yeah, right there. Dang it. Am I going to get that block back? Where is it? There it is. Okay, well... I guess this is going to take me forever. I'll finish laying this out a bit, and I'll be right back. All right, well, we've finished up the pillars, and we've got started on the walls here. Um, it is looking pretty good. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to be able to freaking finish that. I'm going to have to do it here myself. Oh, we're going to have to break that up a bit. Definitely. Uh, I don't know what I'll do there, though. I don't have a clue. Not a clue. Hmm. Yeah, because that is way too plain. I have to experiment with some blocks, I guess, because I don't really, whoop, I don't really know what, what to do for that. Oh, definitely, definitely add something. I don't know if I could add some like, there are those fans. Maybe do something with that. Might look pretty good. I think that would be pretty good. Some fans or something. Here and there. Uh, definitely need another block, though. Getting dark. Alright, well, I'll finish up the walls here, and then I'll uh, catch back up with you guys. And probably get started. Or I'll show you what it looks like. And then uh, get started on the ceiling as well. Uh, hopefully I will have enough cyan clay for that. Not positive though. I have to make some more. Alright, I'll be right back. 
All right, well, that's how we got so far. Spiders are spawning. The room is way too dark at the moment. Um, doesn't look too bad. I think it will look pretty good once we uh, start adding some more blocks in here. And uh, some overhanging beams or something. Uh, finish up this floor over here. That intersects with the hallway. Um, we'll have the stairs here. Just have it. Connect. So yeah, we'll have the stairs right here. And should should I have it go back one? Yeah, why not? Oh, not. No, let's just have it go here. This side lit up. Don't need any more of that crap. Um, what? This. There, that'll work. That kind of looks horrible. Maybe we'll put one of these in the middle here. I think that'll work. This is a new pickaxe that I made. Really slow. So far. Get it leveled up, though. Get it the bleak. Alright. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And I might add some carpenter's slopes there. That might help a little bit to round that out. And then maybe even there too. Not gonna have enough, alright. Alright. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it should be alright. Yeah, because the ceiling will go up there. I actually didn't need that whole layer up there, but that's alright. Boom. Okay. So that's how it's looking so far. Now we just need to get the ceiling. Uh, I got a decent amount of this. This won't be enough. Oh, lag. I don't know if I have any more in here or not. Like it. Jeez. Do I have any more cyan though? Oh yeah, I got I got quite a few. So we should be all right. Let's head back over here. Man, I'm getting major lag. Spawner isn't on. I don't think. Dude, I'm not even going to be able to reach. I'm going to have to do this. Jeez, but this lag is bad. Alright, well, I'm going to have to create towers and crap, so this is going to take me quite a bit of time. I'll get to work on this and then catch back up with you guys. And hopefully my lagging will figure out what the hell. So I'll catch back up with you guys here in a bit. Alright, so this is how we're looking. Um, I'm kind of liking it. With the, the beams, it really helps to um, make this empty room seem a little... Uh, there's a little, mo little bit more to it. It makes it look way better. Um, I'm just kind of finishing up here. I think I want it to go towards the wall. That might help it a little better. 
Yeah, otherwise it will just kind of look like that. Uh, yeah, I like that. So we'll go this side here too. Damn. Really poor placement here. All right. Now should I go? I finish. Maybe I should finish here. Shit. There we go. Okay, how's that? Hmm. That extra bit there is not ideal. But it's not bad. It kind of throws off the symmetry a bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Can't really fix that, though. Symmetry's not always the best way to go, though, either. Let's try adding another beam, see if that helps any. Um... I don't know. I mean, that helps a bit, but I don't know that I like it. I don't, I'm also wondering if I should go, should I add one of these? Will this help? This might look pretty good actually, if I do this. Yeah, I like that. Sounds like my uh, sentry turret's working. Add those. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. What if I... Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Put these down. Stand back here a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. But, hmm. What if I do that up here? Will that make it. Yeah, I'll do that for these two. Yeah, I like that. Adds so much uh, structure to it. Makes it look like it's actually doing something. Alright. Yeah, that, look, that looks really good. I'm not sure about that. I don't think it's too bad. Um, maybe, maybe if I do, I don't know, that might be too close. Make it look kind of bulky. Let's see, though. Might as well do the rest of it as well. not to fall on my hole. Okay. Take a step back. So we come in. Uh, that's pretty good. I like it. I mean, it could be worse. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I was kind of worried about this room being gray, but kind of, you know, too dull, all the same colors, but I think these pillars help a lot. These beams in here. Um, I think I'll go ahead and actually do this here, because I kind of like that. Should I do another one here? Uh, 
Um, I don't know. I do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do it for the other two as well. I'm just kind of leave it. Um, let's see here. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty good. I almost feel... Hmm. If I do it there, I'll kind of need to do it here, though. I think... Because that doorway kind of messes stuff up. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And in turn remove this side as well. I, I like that. I like that better. And then what if I do this side? And this will be like the uh, main the, the middle beam, so it needs some more reinforcement since there's no support. That's pretty good. I kind of like it. Alright. I think that's this room pretty much done. Um, I'll need to work out the lighting. Because I don't want torches everywhere. So eventually I'll add in some lighting. I don't know. Might do kind of like what we did out in the halls. Put the, uh, the glowstone behind these, uh, well, the carpenter's block is a glowstone, and then place the panels on it, you know. Uh, so I think I'll do that, like, down in the middle here, and that should, that should help quite a bit. And then I'll have uh, some lights on the ceiling, and that might... That could, that, yeah, that will add a little more detail to the ceiling. Some light fixtures and stuff. And, yeah, get rid of some of these torches. And then I think what I want to do next, which will be next episode, is get to work on the fluid storage, which I, want to, I think I'll put in here. We'll say... The fluid storage on this side somewhere. Could put it in the wall. Do like a storage tank right behind. Oop. Yeah, let's let's do that. I think that'll work pretty good. Get a. I think the only tanks in the game that I can actually use. It'd been cool if they had like the uh, um rail craft. Uh, tanks. But yeah, I think the only tanks pretty much is these open block tanks. There's a portable tank, a fluid tank for mariculture, which um, it's kind of expensive. This we can just make it out of obsidian, which I, at the moment, have one of the uh, the converted fluid cart that had been down there Trying, you know, I was trying to click lava, which I actually ended up did, um, ugh, which I did get working finally, um, but it's just slow and pointless, so I'll just use a drill, um, because that's just way better. Uh, but yeah, this guy's going collecting obsidian, and from, with that, you know, we'll have plenty of obsidian to do stuff. So, yeah, I think I'll make the open tanks because that, that's the best one, I would say. Fluid tank costs copper, which is horrible. I can't make this, and I don't know how good it is. Can't make this. 
And then there's these, which is cheap, but I don't think it holds very much. I'm not sure exactly how much, but... I don't know, maybe I'll test it out. But I think I think this will be the best one. We'll go with the open tanks. Yeah, I'll just do that. Um, so, yeah, that, I think that will do it for this episode. We got a decent amount done. Uh, this hallway is down to our pneumatic craft room. We'll, you know, I'll get that done. I don't know if off camera or work, work, uh, do it on camera or not. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I think I'll get stuff started so we can start, um, adding some tanks. I might do, I don't know what I'll do. Throw them in the wall there. I don't know. Well, we'll have like oil and gasoline and stuff eventually, but yeah, I think I'll just throw lava in here and call it good for now. Um, but yeah, that should do it. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.